All right, everybody, welcome to uh, the next shelf in the complete Blu-ray collection uh, series that I'm doing. Uh, this will be the Digi Books today. Uh, really need to kind of get through these videos now. I, I want to try and get my updates back on track. I've got a stack of stuff over there that I need to uh, show in the next update video. So I want to kind of get these complete first. So we'll kick start with um, this is nine. This is uh, an animated uh, feature uh, by a, a kind of director called is it Shane Acker? Is it Shane Acker? Shane Acker, yeah. He's a special effects guy who's uh, kind of gone into features a little bit. Uh, produced by Burton and uh, Bert Membertoff, or whatever his name is, who does the wanted films and uh, Night Watch and Day Watch. A bit disappointed in this film. It's you know it's a great release. This is a German release with a lenticular cover, book edition. Um, yeah, story's a little bit underwhelming. Looks great, you know, visually looks awesome, um, and I love the kind of you know that the kind of design of the film, but. The film, the, the the story didn't really kind of live up to it, but it's definitely worth seeing. It's, you know, good film. Uh, right, next up we've got Cary Grant and uh, Deborah Kerr in An Affair to Remember. Um, great, great classic love story. It's a, a remake of, um, oh, what's it called? Love Affair. A film called Love Affair from the 30s. And this in itself was kind of referenced a lot in uh, Sleepless in Seattle. Uh, I think they actually yeah, you know, you kind of saw clips of this in that film. I haven't seen Sleepers in Seattle for a long time, but great, um, great romance film there. Uh, next up is Spielberg's AI. Uh, this is the uh, German premium collection edition. Uh, flawed, you know, a, a, a flawed great if you like. I'm still not sure about the ending of this. Um, I really enjoy it up until the ending. I, you know, maybe I'm I'm not tuning in enough to, you know, maybe the, maybe I'm missing something, but. Looks great, you know, great film. Um, All Quiet on the Western Front. This is the uh, Universal uh, kind of edition, the 100th anniversary uh, collection. Um, best picture there. In incidentally, I think this was the first ever Universal uh, movie to win best picture. Was it 1930? 1930, yeah. I think this was Universal's first ever best picture winner. Great release for a classic war film, anti-war film. Um, I should say, you know, if you're if you're into your war films and you haven't kind of got as far back as the 30s, uh, make an effort and check that out because it's it's great. Um, Amadeus, uh, director's cut, uh, great um, kind of biopic of Mozart, but also uh, uh, F. Murray Abraham's, uh, you know, playing uh, Salieri, you know, Salieri kind of looking back um, in frustration at kind of Mozart's genius. Obviously, like great soundtrack on that and. Um, Tom, Tom Holtz has uh, Mozart does a great job. Uh, I think I remember reading that uh, Branagh, Kenneth Branagh was cast as Mozart at one point. I think um, early days before uh, Foreman, uh, Milos Foreman changed his mind. Someone might correct me on that. I'm not sure. Um, the first of uh, Burton's Batman films with uh, Jack Nicholson, uh, Keaton, and you know squaring off there. Great, great film. You know, I, I'm, I'm kind of. Going back and, and checking these out again in, in light of you know the Dark Knight Rise is about to turn up because you know they are great films you know I, I'm I'm still not a fan of Schumacher's um, obviously Batman and Robin but even that I saw uh, Batman Forever recently and uh, yeah I couldn't get away with that either but certainly uh, Batman Batman Returns great films um, Doctor Zhivago great kind of sweeping epic um, Russian Revolution film I mean you know you can't, if you like your epic cinema you can't go wrong with David Lean I don't think. Um, the Exorcist, uh, you know, probably probably the only horror film um, that doesn't lose its impact for me. You know, I'm not a massive horror buff, uh, but you, you know, some things that if you find scary or creepy or they lose their impact, but that you know, God, if I watched it right now, I'd, I'd be lying awake tonight thinking about it. <laughs> um, Goodfellas, Scorsese's probably Scorsese's masterpiece. Um, you know. Amazing, you know, just the script and everything, the the, the narration by Liotta, and uh, just you know, a, a classic. Um, How the West Was Won, uh, great kind of sprawling, epic kind of western, you know, kind of taming the West uh, movie. Uh, you know, this was um, this was famous for that kind of was it Cinerama? Cinerama, yeah. Um, where they kind of filmed it with three cameras and then projected it into this kind of giant wraparound uh, effect to create um, like one, like a kind of immersive experience. You know, it was almost the dawn of IMAX, the pre-IMAX IMAX. You know, uh, you get it, you get the version on this disc as well, uh, 
the smile box edition you can watch it you know it doesn't really work uh, you know because your, your tv screen isn't wrapping around your living room but it's it's, it's worth seeing for a you know a laugh uh paul newman in the hustler and jackie gleason great probably one of my favorite paul newman films this and cool hand luke which i still need to get on uh blu-ray at some point uh you know great kind of pool playing uh movie there awesome film um JFK, uh, one of my favourite Oliver Stone films. This is a, a kind of masterclass in editing. The amount of information that's thrown around in, in a few hours in this film is just insane. Um, you know, God, just don't blink while you're watching it because you'll 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 miss out on about 15 plot points. But it's it's great. You know, it, some people give it a kick in. I don't know how kind of accurate it is historically and politically, but you know, it's great entertainment if anything. Um, the original King Kong. Um, Starring Fair Ray. Uh, you know, it, I enjoyed the remake, uh, the, the Peter Jackson one. I didn't enjoy the, was it the 1976 one with Jessica Lang? Was it 76? I'm not sure. Uh, but this one was, you know, it, it's King Kong. You know, it's a, it's a masterpiece. Uh, the Matrix, first Matrix film. Still a big fan of it. I do think that it's, it's, got, it's had its reputation tainted a bit by those two sequels, which I just cannot make myself like. I'm... Um, I was so, you know, that was like one of the big disappointments when those films came out, you know, even watching the trailers of them. Um, you know, they're talking about doing some more, and to be fair, I, I've, I'm not interested in the slightest. You know, you'll see them, but it's it's a shame. It's a shame what happened to that series. Um, North by Northwest, uh, Northwest, sorry, which is uh, probably, probably my favourite Hitchcock film. It, my favourite Hitchcock film always alters depending on which one I'm watching at the time. Um, I love the kind of the, this period that he went through, you know, um, oh, what was, what, he kind of released three films. It was like, you know, there was Vertigo, um, this, and then Psycho, you know, and as, as, for a track record, I mean, who else is, who else does that? You know, that, three awesome masterpieces in a row. Great, great film. Cary Grant, one of my favourite actors as well. Um, even Marie Saint looking awesome and uh, James Mason is a baddie awesome awesome stuff uh, Poltergeist which I haven't seen in a long time I need to sit down and watch this again I might kind of hold out till Halloween and, and, and chuck it on a Halloween marathon um, very creepy uh, film incidentally I've never ever seen any of the how many sequels is there to this I've never seen another sequel to this um, I've, all, I've only ever seen this first one so maybe that'll be maybe that's a, a kind of Halloween marathon in the making right there so uh, we've got the uh, premium collection edition of Seven um, from uh, David Fincher. Great, great film. Kevin Spacey is awesome, awesome in this. Um, great sucker punch ending, you know. I won't spoil it in case you're one of the the four people who haven't seen that, but check it out if that's the case. Uh, the Sting, another 100th anniversary uh, limited edition with uh, Redford and Paul Newman. Uh, you know, great film. You know, Robert Shaw, <laughs> you know, steals it in this. I watched I watched this again recently. Um, obviously, when I bought this, and you know, I, the the, <laughs> the only thing was, you know, Robert Shaw. It, it, I wasn't sure if his accent was a bit dodgy in it. I'm not sure if he was that you know the Irish kind of twang that he. The, I'm not sure, but that's like the, the the most minor criticism for this because it's absolutely amazing. Great, great film. You know, if you haven't seen this, you know, you need to check it out. It's it looks amazing. You know, there's been. I'm sure I've read that. I read on like Blu-ray.com or something that they were they were saying that some of the image was soft or something on it. I don't know, it looks looks alright to me. Um, Kazan's um, adaptation of uh, well his own play, I suppose, of the play that he directed, uh, Streetcar Named Desire. Uh, great Brando performance, love it. Uh, yeah, you know, masterpiece. And speaking of which, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, 50th anniversary uh, Universal collection. This, um, I might do a little, I might do a more in-depth look at this, because this is an amazing release. This will be on my list, I think, of the, of the best Blu-ray releases this year. This is one of the best best releases of the year so far for me. Um, I won't go into it just from a time perspective now, but you know, this is when a release is done right, when you get a great film like this in a great edition and... You know, the book, the thing about Digibooks, I mean, I'm, I'm a real big fan of Digibooks and I, I prefer them these days, I think, to Steelbooks. I think Steelbooks have got a little bit out of hand. I think there's like about four or five new ones released each week. Um, 
I, you know, I still love them, don't get me wrong, but I think this is the way that I like, you know, this is the kind of perfect format for for my films, I think. Um, but this is a, this is a, an example of a digi book done right, I think, because you, you get the varying, you know, degrees of, some of them are a bit, you know, you know, the paper's hardly worth it, but this is it done right. But I might go into this, I might do a kind of best of the year so far video that'll, that'll show that in a little bit more uh, detail. And, uh, you know, next up, Taxi Driver, another amazing release, absolutely amazing. You know, like this, it, it's when they take a film like this with the history that it has and, the, and you know, the quality of it and just do it right and, and, and create a great release out of it. I mean, you know, they haven't just stuck this in a, in a case, a plastic case and, and chucked it on the shelf. They've, someone's taken the time to show that some respect, you know, the respect that it deserves. Um, Tora, Tora, Tora. Uh, I haven't seen this for a lot. I don't think I've seen this since I've probably watched it on VHS. Um, great kind of Pearl Harbor film. I need to revisit this um, and check it out very soon. Great, great cast in that as well. There's you know, a massive cast. Uh, Joseph Cotton, Jason Robards. Great cast. Um, Usual Suspects. Uh, Brian Singer's masterpiece probably for me. Great, great film. Uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, kind of childhood favourite of mine, um, great release. Uh, I definitely would like to pick up the box set of this, I know they do like a big, um, a big fancy set which looks pretty cool, um, but yeah, great, you know, like, great songs, great production, just awesome. Um, oh. uh, Three Days of the Condor, Sidney Pollock, Robert Redford and uh, Faye Dunaway in a kind of... Um, you know, like a CIA type uh, cover up type film. Um, this is a French release, I think. Um, the Studio Canal editions, uh, still undecided, you know, they aren't Digibooks as such, they have a booklet in there. But they look pretty cool, great artwork. Um, Melville's uh, Le Circle Rouge, oh, great kind of uh, heist film, uh, gangster uh, kind of crime, crime thriller. Crime thriller. Um, you know, definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. I need there's a couple of couple more Melville films I need to pick up on Blu-ray. I think do you do uh, Army of Shadows and uh, uh, the Samurai? Great, they're uh, great films. Uh, Deer Hunter, um, you know, still one of my favourite Vietnam era kind of films. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a slog. It's a long film, but it's great. You know, masterpiece. And we've got Akira Kurosawa's Ran. Again, I haven't seen this for a long, long time. Um, but great kind of um, loose, loose kind of ad adaption of um, King Lear. Look at I mean, that, that artwork's amazing. It looks great. Plenty of special features on there as well. Um, documentaries about Kurosawa and interviews. Um, uh, right next up, we've got a kind of. Sp I'll do the end of the shelf. It's uh, my Arrow video collection. Uh, start off with uh, Battle Royal, which is the ginormous special edition box set um i don't know if this is it's pretty rare has it been deleted now it's pretty rare great film um then we've got uh lucio fulci's the beyond uh, mcdowell going bonkers in uh, caligula uh city of the living dead dawn of the dead you know i don't need to tell you about dawn of the dead you don't need to, you know day of the dead a um, couple of Argento films now, we've got Deep Red, Inferno, Phenomena, Tenebrae, and then finally at the end uh, we've got Abel Ferreira's uh, King of New York, uh, starring Christopher Walken, this is the steelbook. Um, great, great kind of uh, releases, these Arrow releases, and I definitely need to give a quick shout out at the end of this uh, to my man, Buzz On Man, because... He's uh, hooked me up with most of these, so <laughs> thanks for that, Buzz. Um, in the meantime, uh, I'll leave it at that. That's my uh, Digibook uh, and slash Arrow video shelf. Uh, we'll hit the uh, steel books next, I think. Goes up there a little bit. And in the meantime, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you all very, very soon in the next update slash collection video. Cheers. Bye-bye.